So I don't know if you saw one of these online or not. Uh, the new pen case I saw on Reddit, it's on Etsy. Um, it came pretty quick. It was a pretty decent price, but I was a little bit shocked by the size of this box. Put that in perspective, here's my hand. Here is, let's see, what does everybody know? Everybody knows a Sharpie. There's a Sharpie on top of this thing. I've got some concerns what this is going to be like, but we'll open her up and see. By the way, probably one of the last days you're gonna get a chance to see the yellow Crocs, because I'm gonna replace the table with our normal table, but I've also got Grinch pants on just to make it awesome. So here's a really interesting um, note on here that you'll need to cut the corners of the package in order to not damage the product. I don't quite understand that. It's pretty well protected inside of here. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna do any damage whatsoever, but so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and just turn this upside down like this. Easy does it. small it is definitely what it looked like in the pictures but ooh, I would say that the well it's not a gouge it's just like imperfections if you can call it that in the wood not really great um, uh, it's it's actual wood Nice, uh, it's like laser cut uh, wood. It's got felt inside of here. That's tiny, like really tiny. Um, the drawers are, well the drawers are nice, but they're again going to be tiny. So these things, okay. That's gonna stop your drawers from popping out on you. Okay, get it. Um, yeah, it's definitely constructed decently. If it wasn't on the massive sale that I found it on, I think I'd be not so happy with the price of this because it was originally like $200. Um, but you can see some of the quality of workmanship here. Not amazing, but they are absolutely perfect crisp cuts. There is no shipping damage to this whatsoever, even though it came from Turkey. Uh, but I've got some concerns, so here's what I'm gonna do. Give me a second, I'm just gonna grab some normal pens. Normal pens that I think anybody that's using one of these would use. And I'm gonna go ahead and see how they all fit. So that's a Sharpie, a regular Sharpie, the big Sharpie is never fitting in here. I actually bought this thing to be in my desk free up. I had a you know, package of all kinds of things like highlighters and stuff that I use all the time. I did not want that in my drawer anymore and I thought this would be perfect. Put things like highlighters in one, you know, regular pens in another and then my better quality pens in other ones. I don't, I don't know that's gonna happen. Well, that fits in but there's no way this thing's closing with a clip. If you have a bigger pen or a highlighter with a clip, not fitting in this thing. Um, retractable Sharpie, ooh, barely fits. Double-ended marker, you know, pretty standard, broad and fine. Uh, that actually fits there, that's surprising. Ah ha ha ha. But in the closing drawers where I'd want to put this thing, because I don't want to look at it at the top, it's not fitting there. Uh, pens that you would use on a daily basis. Everybody's got something different, you know. But here's classic size Mont Blanc. That fits, seems to fit okay. Here's a Legrand or a 146 size pen. Yeah, it fits in there. Um, let's see what else. How about a safari? 
How about a Noodlers? Here's a Noodlers. Noodlers definitely not fitting. I won't be able to close the door or the top on that. Online brand, not fitting whatsoever. Um, I'll grab a Safari in a second. And I don't have one there. Um, but again, a highlighter or marker is definitely not fitting. And we can grab this here and go down from the side. You can see these things all extend out uh, in the drawers themselves. Definitely not fitting. Definitely not fitting. How about a Noodlers? Noodlers is a pretty popular pen that a lot of people have, or a 149 size. Never gonna fit. No, nope, does not close the door. Can't go down to the side. Not happening. Online, online not happening. So, Legrand 146 size pen or an M800. Oh, oh. by the thickness of a piece of paper, that fits. But that is very, very, very close. Uh, here is our Safari. It fits in barely. I mean, we're talking just barely fits. That's a pretty standard pen. Close. It makes it barely. I mean, super close, barely fitting. So overall, it's gonna fit a handful of things. It's not gonna fit everything. How about, uh, this is, The Helitz, uh, it's a German made calligraphy style pen. Doesn't fit lengthwise. If it doesn't fit in the top, it's not gonna fit in here, that's for sure. So I knew because it had a long tail on the barrel section, that was gonna possibly be a problem. Um, I mean, you wanna talk about barely, barely fitting. Those barely fit, which means you can't get a finger behind them to get them out. And it also should mean it's never gonna fit. Nope, not gonna fit in the drawers. So, depending on what you're looking to put in this thing, it looked pretty nice online. Um, the drawers are all constructed reasonable, but man, if they just made this thing like an inch wider and an inch or two taller, it would fit everything nicely, but it is, well, it's made for a bunch of Bix. So I guess that and a pair of Grinch pants out.